Mario. Can we have an opera season of this year? My dear, not to this year and not to next year. You saw what it looked like inside. Boom, boom. All about my mouth. Oh, I, I'm a heart broken. I miss the lights. I miss the music. I miss the opening nights. Mm. I come on the stage. Don't remind me. I miss it too. I miss the crowd, the excitement, the profits. <laughs> I put the cry. <laughs> well, Mario, is that there some way we can fix up the opera house? Now, how? We need the plaster, the board, the nails, the tools, and we got nothing. How can we fix up? Potratismo, potratismo, per verità. Solo il pactotum della città. Solo il pactotum della città, della città, della città, della Cheetah! Haul it, haul it, you opera lovers. Hey, Verge, how about an encore? Well, I sure think, Skip, I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, come on. Ma parito t'amor, il mio sordo... You heard that? Si, Vergil, he has a beautiful voice. Not a Vergil's voice, a Mikhail's voice. He just called them opera lovers. Our problem has just been solved. What do you talk about? The United States Navy going to fix up our opera house, with your help, of course. What do you got in the mind of Lugato? He's honest? Rosa, would I, Mario Lugato, mayor of Voltafiore, ask you to do something that was not honest? If I don't tell you the truth, May I be struck from above? <laughs> Little girl, you're the one girl for me. Little girl, you're as sweet as can be. Just a glance at you meant a lot from the start. And oh, what a thrill <laughs> came into my heart. A little girl. With your cute little ways, I am yours For the rest of my days And this great big world will be divine Little girl, when you're mine, oh mine Those are absolutely beautiful, you... Shh, shh, shh. Um, Pumpkin, and happy anniversary from Teddy Bear <laughs> Yeah. How was it, Elroy? I think she'll like it. That was our song. Oh, she'll just love it, sir. Just love it. I'll gift wrap it right now so that you can get it off on the afternoon mail plane. No, no, no. I want to play it back. Play it back. I I think I hit a wrong note in there. Oh, sir, there were so many that were beautiful, sir. Yeah. We'll play it. Back. <laughs> Little girl, you're the one girl for me. Little girl. That's new, Captain. I... Mikhail, what's the meaning of you and this goof barging in here like this? Boy, oh, I don't blame you for being mad, sir. Hey, wow, you got stuck with the bum record. Boy, I'll say, you ought to get your money back, sir. It sounds warm. Oh, brother, get a load of that. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Boy, it's a good thing you shut him up. I've heard of some lousy singers, but wow. Have you know that was me singing? It was. <clears throat> Say, you know, Skip, I kind of liked it myself. So did I. You know, I had a sort of a lilt to it. Unusual, but very good, sir. <laughs> really? I Ooh. thought it had... Now, knock it off. You're not fooling for me. It just so happens I recorded that song for my wife. It's her anniversary. Anniversary? Oh, congratulations, sir. Congratulations. She's kind of cute. Got a lot of wrinkles. Kind of cute, though. But, sure. Get your... How dare you touch my... What? And as far as my voice is concerned, I'll have you know that I sang the baritone lead in my yacht club show three years running. Shouldn't. Boy, that's lucky. In music appreciation, I was just a listener. Yeah, I'm tone deaf. <laughs> you cut that out. Get down the air step there. Plane is in with your supplies. Go down there and take inventory. Well, now, wait a minute. Let's listen to it again. Maybe we misjudge this whole Get thing. Get your grubby hands off of my... Ah! He's gonna sing again. Did I hear you right? You mean, you want me to sing the male lead in your new opera? That's right. That's great, Virgil. Right. 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 Just to look at them. Virgil and Rosa are two new big opera stars. Well, well what are we singing? And when do we start? 
We start rehearsal immediately. Immediately after you boys are fixed up at the opera house. Now, first... Oh, wait a minute. Hold it. What do you mean, fix up the opera house? Oh, well, the opera house needs a little fixing. Smaller things, like a new stage, a new seats, a new wall, a new roof. A... Stop at a boat. What are you trying to pull, anyway? How are we supposed to repair the opera house? Should have known there was an angle. Sure. But the angle, there is no angle. You boys, you just to get to the supplies, and then you pitch in, and then... Virgil becomes a big opera star, eh? Oh, now, look, guys, this is my big chance. We can do it! Oh, you're making me so happy, and the opera should be so beautiful. Oh, uh, and the intermission are beautiful, too. We sell a popcorn, a candy bar. Listen, I give you 50% of everything we sell. What do you say, partners, huh? Partners? Hmm. We say you're right. And the opera? She will be so beautiful. <laughs> They were caught red-handed, sir, just as they were pulling away from the army warehouse. That foul luck. It's too bad that Mikhail and Parker weren't with them, and then we could have got rid of the whole caboodle. All right, guards, take them away. You can't do this, Captain. It ain't fair. Come on, move. Hey, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Wait, hold it. Okay, Captain, Captain, what, what, what's, what's this all about, sir? Well, I'll tell you, Alibaba. The band of thieves are on their way to the pokey. That's what it's all about. That's right. They were caught stealing all those building supplies. And we are going to tell the general about this. And when he finds out, Elroy, he is certainly... he shut your uh, mouth. We uh, don't have to explain anything to him. Well, all right, take them away. Now, wait a minute. Look. It's wait. a phony rock. Look, Captain, my boys have done anything deal. wrong. Look, I, I, can, I can take care of him. I can punish him. Yeah, we can really crack down. We'll send them to bed without their supper. Send <laughs> them to bed without their... Oh. A few places I'd like to send you, you goof. <laughs> sir, sir, here comes the mail truck, sir. Let it Quite oh, me. I don't care about but that. But, sir, your record for pumpkin. I, I, Mrs. Binghamton, That's your record. For heavens, all this commotion, I didn't even... Soldier, no, wait, here, we, no. we could even take away the powder. Look out, look out, look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Oh, boy. Well, I guess I goof. <laughs> I guess you did, Parker. You broke my record. Well, it's just because I've had more chances. Now, I'm sure you can win it back. I mean, a record I made for my wife, you dolt. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute, sir. Calm down. Maybe we can work this thing out. <laughs> What's the punishment for hitting an ensign? Ten years, sir. A down ensign? Same thing, sir. That's right, sir. Ah. Ah. Take it easy, sir. Ah. Sir, now, look, we, we've got ah. a lot to do. First, I'm going to help you to make ah. a nice new record, sir. Ah. Then I'm going to help you to prepare some ah. nice court martial papers for those ah. boys. They're thieves. Boy, what a mess. Oh, and you didn't help it any, I'll tell you that. But what gets me is, though, is why those eight balls would want to steal any, any, any junk like that. Ah. Michael, I'm so glad you're back. Oh, good, good. I suppose the boys have told you about, about the fixing the opera house for Virgin and Rosa, eh? What opera house? Come on, quick, let's Wait get a out minute. Here. How can you keep a stolen army supplies under the nose of Captain Binghamton? That's no good. You mean you and... I, ooh, Lugato! You mean that the boys that didn't... Th Lugato, why don't you keep your big mouth to shut? <laughs> well, I just hope it didn't hurt my throat, all that yelling. And I don't want to disappoint Pumpkin. Oh, no, sir. How's the sound? Ma, 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 ma. Higher, sir. Higher, sir. Me, 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 me. Huh? Sounds wonderful, Good. sir. Uh, Voice, right. fine, fine. Yes. Sir, as soon as we finish this record, I will personally take it over to the airstrip so that it makes that afternoon mail plane. Good. Rose, I'm glad you passed by so you could tell him. I did it just for you and Virgil, and to make a big, nice opera house for both of you. Yeah. I rest my case. You should rest your mouth. Yeah. You say boring, she's not stealing, and now Michael's the boy's in a bigger trouble. Yeah. Say on ladro, my No, Michael, Michael, you don't. Hold it, just a minute. Will you silencio? Hold it. This is no time to argue. My lost to my opera house. What do you mean you lost your opera house? I just lost my whole crew. What are you hollering about? Well, we gotta figure some way out of this mess. Ladro, I spot your Don't be going. Don't be going, Ladro. Please. You're the one girl for me. <laughs> hey, quiet in there! Shh, that's Captain Binghamton. What a miseria. Such a voice. Only a mother could love. I'm a mother. I hate it. <laughs> Son, I'm not too fond of it. I'll shut the window. No, no, no. Hold everything. Hold it. I got a plan. You got a plan? What is it? What is it? Look, I, I think I can got something here. We can take my boys off the hook and get you a new opera house. Merveilleux! Bravo, my kid! Bravo! How do we do this? Don't look. Look. 
we're going to have to convince him to sing the lead in your new opera company. Wonderful to sing the lead. That horrible voice. That's a sick cow. Listen to him. Look, you want an opera house, don't you? I want to get my boys out of the brig. Look, you two are going to have to put on an act that's going to make him... It's going to make him feel that he wants... My listening to that horrible Will voice! You... No, I absolutely refuse. Positively not. You're not going to get me to sing with that off a key fog off. Stop the boat. Rosa, we throw arguing? See. Si. All right, then we do what Michaela said. What's your plan? <laughs> Play it back, Elroy. I want to make sure it's right. Oh, sir, it sounded perfect to me. It's a record. I should have known. Such a gorgeous voice. It's too beautiful to be human. Do you realize you just barged in here and you... Oh, you like the voice? Shh, shh. Who is it? Is it the Mario Lanza? No, no. no. Shh. Oh, it's a Caruso. See, si, no. It's a no Caruso. He doesn't have that much heart. <laughs> Mrs. Giovanni, the voice you're listening to happens to be the... All right, let her guess. Uh, try Lawrence Melchior. It's a Lawrence Melchior. Oh, it's me. <laughs> oh, go on. You make a big joke with the Rosa. Oh, get a lot of this. A little girl, you're the one. <laughs> oh, 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 it is really here. A little girl, you're as sweet as... What a beautiful voice. Who belongs? To that magnificent throat. Look, Otto, I'm so glad that you come. Here is a that magnificent throat. Carice, Herr Rosa, you found him. Found, found who? Who? The star, the leading man of our new opera company. Opera? The famous of Altofiora Opera Company. We have looked high and low for a man with a voice worthy enough to sing with Herr Rosa. <laughs> opera? You, you really think I could? My sure. I heard the golden tones. Well, I, I do sing a little, as, as you heard, but I mean, my only uh, stage experience were ten consecutive performances at our yacht club. Yacht club. <laughs> That's enough for us. Rosa will be honored to sing with you. I got to tell the others. Others? But sure, the people have been gathering outside your window just to hear your magnificent voice. <laughs> sir, sir, he's right. There's a whole group of townspeople gathering outside. Oh, this is amazing. Oui. I mean, I, I knew I was good, but <laughs> magnificent. Well, <laughs> I beloved the military governor has agreed to sing for you in person. Oh! Oh! Little girl, you're the one girl for me, little girl. Oh! Let your beautiful ways. Gosh, I didn't even open up yet. Then you will sing with her rose and be the big new star. I mean, how can I disappoint my fans? Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 We have to pay to get out of here. We have to listen to Binghamton sing opera. I'll see you later. The firing squad. Well, I'd rather face the firing squad. Skip, I got a weak stomach. Listen, Skip, I was supposed to sing the lead in that opera. And he sings down go to All right, hold it, hold it. Wait, is that all the thanks we get? You're out of the brig. There's no court martial. All you got to do is help rebuild the opera house and listen to Binghamton sing one performance. Now, I'd say you're getting off pretty easy. Easy? Oh, my aching back. What about my aching ears? Now, Skip, that is a bum rap. Oh, bum rap, you. Oh, that I think I have a frog. Spray, all right. Spray, spray. yes, sir. <laughs> Open wide, sir. Would you watch out, you ninny? That's my golden throat. <laughs> Me, 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 fa, 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 so, 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 so. Sir. What are you men doing here? Why aren't you at work? If that opera house isn't finished by opening night. Maestro, maestro. Please, maestro. It's your golden throat. Oh, you're right, Elroy. Right. <clears throat> Opera House isn't finished by opening night. I'm going to turn you over to the army. 
Brenda, have you shot? How's it coming out here? Well, we're almost done. Well, this has been work, Skip. Skip, the work, I don't mind. But do we have to sit through this thing? You not only have to sit through it, but tonight, after it's all over, we're all going to yell bravo. Yeah, bravo. and just to make sure we get it right, we're going to practice. All right, now, let's hear it. Bravo! Bravo! bravo. bravo. Come on, come on, bravo! Bravo! bravo. 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 Thank you, fan. Thank you, sir. All right, now, Mikhail, now, this is important. Now, I want these cushions placed front row center. Front row center? What for, sir? Uh, for General Bronson and his aides. You heard him, fellas. I did. General Bronson and his aides? What's the matter with that, Mikhail? I'll have you know when I sang in the yacht club, people came from far and wide to hear me. I bet you... Uh, Elroy. Sir. I want you to put in a call for Eisenhower and Montgomery for next week's performance. Yes. <laughs> Isn't he wonderful? <laughs> General Bronson, holy jumping Hannah. Skip, we gotta do something, and fast. General here's lead bottom hit a high note, we are dead. I'm headed back to the brig, huh? Wait a minute, wait a minute, Gruber. Now look, let's all get our knives together, we can come up with something. Hey, Skip, I got an idea. Look, suppose when the general gets there. Murder must be one of those fly jockeys from the new airstrip giving a signorina a buzz. What'd you say, Mr. Parker? Yeah, we couldn't hear a word you were saying. Ah, never mind. It wouldn't work anyway. And then now, wait a minute, wait a minute. That plane, it drowned out Mr. Parker's voice. Couldn't hear a thing, right? Well, uh, if it could work for that, why couldn't it work for singing? You mean old golden throat? Then why not? Look, all we have to do is go out to the airstrip, make a recording of those P-38s coming in, the loud ones, and tonight when the curtain goes up, Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, clear the stage. Clear the stage. I don't want any visitors. I don't want anybody back here who isn't in show business. All right, calm down now, sir. How calm. can I calm down? This is my first opera. I know, I know. <laughs> Carpenter! Right here, sir. Don't ever sneak up on me on an opening night. It makes me very happy to escort to you and your brave soldiers to your cushions. Over there. The general is here. I gotta go and get dressed. Two minutes! Okay, will you tie that boob up? Yes, it's all right. Got the lights! All right, everybody clear here, clear. Uh, don't let me catch anybody whistling backstage. No, no whistling. And nobody walking under the ladder. Get right. on the bed. No, don't put any beds on the hats. What's the thing you break? Your, your leg. Break your leg. Oh, sure. Get him, please! Boy, is he ever nervous. He's nervous. Brother, if my plan doesn't go through on this thing, the next show will be putting on his 11 with Polly's. Hey, are you guys all set up? You got that loudspeaker all hooked up? Ready to roll, loud and clear. Hey, will you stand by?
man of Binghamton has a wonderful voice. Can you hear him? Oh, sure, I got the 2020 ears. <laughs> so far, we're doing okay, but I think he's starting to sing louder. Willie, turn that record over. We'll give him the twin engine bomber noise. I can't let him. Let me. No, let me get him. Why is all this? What you do? I mean, don't worry. I was very good at jigsaws. What happened? Mr. Parker just broke the record. Oh. Now it's our turn to break one to four minute mile. Let's no, no, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Don't lose your head. Quiet, hold it. deliberately trying to sabotage my debut. Oh, no, Captain, we're just trying to help you. Help me? I thought, what kind of help is it? The general is out there. He's waiting to hear me sing. But, 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 but Captain, if you don't... Don't you bother, 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 Captain, me. I'm going out there, and I'm going to sing. And if any of you men come out on that stage, I'll make one single solitary little sound, and I'm going to run you through. You're the... Well, you've seen one of these. Yeah, you <laughs> Somebody up there likes us. Oh, it's gone too far this time. Now you turn off that air raid, sir. I'm going to call the MPs. But, sir, it is an air raid. Come on, we better take shelter. Hands off of me. It's just another one of your tricks. Captain. Okay. By the way, just another one of Mikhail's tricks. <laughs> What are they doing to my opera house? They're wrecking it again. I don't care about your opera house. I want to sing. Okay, you quick get that wild man out of here and into a bomb shelter immediately. Why don't you write the general? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I don't want to. I don't know when I've had such an enjoyable evening, air raid and all. Well, I'm glad you liked it, sir. Yes, when I first came down here, I thought you were going to sing real opera. That show was hilarious. <laughs> hilarious? Yes, and that was brilliant, that part of you putting in the sound effects when you were supposed to sing. Absolutely hysterical. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I enjoyed it, too. <laughs> How about the part when he uh, blew the horn in my face? <laughs> Great show. If I can swing it, I'm going to have you repeat your performance before my fighting men on the front lines. Thank you very much, General. I, the front line? Yes. Well, gentlemen, back to the war. Okay. And a hearty well done. I do, General, I wear glasses, General. My back hasn't been... Why don't you take part to... Oh, sir! <laughs> well, that's our captain, boys. He can't sing, but boy, can he act. <laughs> Mario, can we have an opera season of this year? My dear, not of this year and not the next year. You saw what it looked like inside. Boom, boom. All about my out. Oh, I, I'm heartbroken. I miss the lights. I miss the music. I miss the opening nights. I come on the stage. Don't remind me. I miss it, too. I miss the crowd, the excitement, the profits. <laughs> I put the cry. Well, Mario, is there some way we can fix up the opera house? Now, how? 
We need the plaster, the board, the nails, the tools, and we got it nothing. How can we fix up? Potratismo, potratismo, per verità. Solo il pactotum della città. Solo il pactotum della città, della città, della città. Della città. Opera lovers. Hey, Verge, how about an encore? Well, I sure think, Skip, I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, come on. <laughs> Rosa, you heard that? See, si, Virgil, he has a beautiful voice. Not a Virgil has a voice, a Mikhail's a voice. He just called them opera lovers. Our problem has just been solved. What do you talk about? The United States Navy gonna fix up our opera house, with your help, of course. What do you got in the mind of Lugato? He's honest? Rosa, would I, Mario Lugato, mayor of Voltafiore, ask you to do something that was not honest? <laughs> if I don't tell you the truth, may I be struck from above? <laughs> Girl, you're the one girl for me, a little girl. 